Hello friends, today we will see all the details regarding the execution of column rod anchoring regarding when it is to be done and all. So first of all, when it needs to be done, whenever we are going to raise the column and the sufficient lap length is not available for the column above the slab, that means in the first floor or second floor we, are, we want to raise the column and the sufficient lap length is not available so at that time we are going for rod anchoring so what is this rod anchor rod anchoring means we generally we are going to make the holes in the columns and the depth for those holes would be 250 mm and steel we are going to use is 16 mm or 20 mm dia steel <coughs> so for that bits we have to keep little bigger one for 16 mm steel we have to keep 20 mm bit and make a hole and the depth of that hole should be 250 mm uh, suppose here you can see that there are six columns uh, sorry six six number of reinforcement steels are there in the column so beside each of this steel we are going to make the hole of 250 mm depth and dia 20 mm so after making the holes then we are going to thoroughly blow them blow all the dust inside them so it has to be clean the column surface is to be neatly cleaned and and it should be free from all the dust particle and it should be completely clean all the dust particle need to be blown and it should be clean and the chemical we are going to use here is Hilti chemical Hilti RE500 this is the chemical name friends this chemical we are going to use the procedure for using this chemical is that you need to first check the expiry date on the chemical and then put the chemical in the cartridge so for hilti hilti re500 we have separate cartridge of hilti 500 cartridge so in that we are going to place this chemical so these are the in chemical you can see there are two parts both are going to mix and come so we need to check that first we need to put it in the cartridge and then put some part of the chemical somewhere else so that we can see see it is setting or not so now the steel is, steel is, needs to be taken and uh, first the chemical need to be filled in the hole slowly we need to fill the chemical and then we have to put insert the steel that is 16 mm dia rods we are inserting here we are inserting and then hit them with a hammer so that they are tightened this this uh, this filling of chemical needs to be done as early as possible after putting in the cartridge because the chemical sets very early it might set in the nozzle so we need to do this as early as possible continuously we have to put it in the hole and immediately we have to place the steel in that and then and then firmly fix uh, fix the steel with the hammer so in this way the, uh, the rods are going to be placed uh, within half an hour or uh, within half an hour to two hours you can see that the uh, steel rods have been firmly fixed in the column and and you cannot even move them so this is the tightness you get this is the firmness you get from the Hilti RE5 uh, re 500 chemical this was the entire procedure please do like and follow my channel for more such contents friends thank you thank you have a nice day